People were trying to evacuate, so all the side streets got blocked up, and the fire department couldn't get into town. The planes and all the embers were coming. The wind was so strong, it was blowing over the seawall, over our head, and uh, it was tremendously hot. So I lost my condo, my Jeep, my laptop, my cell phone, uh, everything I ever owned for, for 40 years that I lived in Lahaina. We saw the flames and we were, went down, ran down to the ocean, you know. And uh, we met up with another local guy we knew and an Australian tourist from a Pioneer Inn. And we just kind of went into like military combat mode, you know, watching the fires and, you know, just kind of, just kind of taking the shoreline and heading as far out as we could. And then we camped. And when we woke up in the morning, everything was just a flame all around. A lot of us are post-traumatic stress, shell shock. And we kind of can bond with this, you know. It's kind of healing for us in a way, you know, because we've all been through this trauma. Oh, it's just, you know, I mean, I'm wondering, you know, what I'm going to do, you know. I mean, there's there's no real jobs around anymore, <laughs> um, you know, around in town or anything. And like I say, the bakery where I worked is burned down.